This video will be useful to dentists or orthodontists who are uh, maybe a little less experienced at some of the basics and also very helpful for Invisalign patients to understand a concept called interproximal reduction or IPR as it pertains to something known as a bolt-in discrepancy. This patient has a good bite on both sides. This is called a class one. This patient doesn't have an underbite or an overbite. The top teeth are in front of the lower teeth. Now, look at the lower teeth. This patient has a lot of crowding of the lower teeth. And notice how the crowding, as with most cases, is characterized by teeth that are kind of leaning inward somewhat. So what we want to do, and by the way, look at the wear on this patient's teeth, happens to be a rather young adult. And so we want these lower teeth straight and we move them forward into a wider arc. You can do this in most cases of crowding unless the teeth are already flared way out forward beyond the lips. That's not the case here. So we want to bring these teeth forward. But as you might have seen, the lower teeth are pressed right up against the upper teeth. So the upper teeth also have to move forward or else the bite won't be comfortable. It'll be very uncomfortable. So you see the upper teeth moving out as well. But look now at the way the upper teeth are. Notice how there's no crowding on the upper teeth. And that's because this patient has smaller upper teeth, particularly this tooth and this tooth. And so when the upper teeth move out of the way of the lower teeth, as I just showed you, what I hid from you, here's the final plan. What I hid from you is that there is some space that is revealed around here and around here. In the beginning of the treatment or before treatment, the patient has no space. That space would have to be opened. That happens as a byproduct of moving the upper teeth out to the degree dictated by the lower. So this patient has to be informed this, and at the end of the treatment, they can accept that small space or they can get bonding uh, to widen these teeth because that's the culprit. This tooth and this tooth are small. So this is what is called a bolt-in deficiency of the upper teeth. Now, let's say the patient does not want that space and does not want bonding. Is there a solution? And there is. So what we can do, I'm going to modify this. And what we do instead, and this is very commonly done, we have to balance things out by making sure the lower teeth don't move forward as much as they did in that original plan. So what we have to add between the teeth is something called interproximal reduction. This, this patient, notice how much wider the lateral incisor is here than the central. So I'm gonna focus on doing my interproximal reduction. And also notice there's a little bit of space like right in here. And there was some space in here. I'll show you again. See that little space there? So this is a great spot to do interproximal reduction. You really wanna pick and choose your spots. I'm gonna actually make this go to, I can make this go to six millimeters or even seven because it's a good spot for it. This area, I'm going to do less. This also an area where you can do a lot because the teeth, they're not like rectangular bricks that are contacting the whole length. They're more triangular. So I'm going to do some in here, a little in here. Now, this is not going to be an appreciable change in the width of these teeth. If you look at this tooth right here, zone in there, uh, or I'll pick a straighter one. Let's see here. Here it is now, and there it will be after. It's pretty much the same width. This tooth is about six millimeters wide, and the instruments we use are split on, on either side, removing two structures. So this 0.3 removed here, 0.25 removed here. So it's a small percentage of the tooth that's being reduced. Now, in this case, look at how we have a, an overbite that allows us to then get rid of the space that we opened here. Now, if I remove everything here, this case can be treated without opening space here and here, but you must do interproximal reduction on the lower teeth, which is safe and painless. And if a patient doesn't want that and is okay with the upper spacing that we created before, then you do it that way. 
Now, if you're doing something at home uh, with a smile direct type at home treatment without doctors, nobody would be able to deduce this. Nobody could do the filing on the bottom. No one would explain to you about the space. And that's when you run into problems. Uncomfortable bites, gaps that you didn't expect. That's why you want to go to an experienced dentist. So I hope this helps explain sometimes why we need interproximal reduction on the lower teeth uh, in certain cases.